So today we're going to be looking at SBCs and we have got some absolutely massive ones. We have got the unlimited 84 times 10 grind and it looks like we will get very close to the 85 times 10 grind coming very, very soon. Hopefully then we do get some 86 times 10s. I did see last year we did get some of them. So hopefully they are on the way next. If you're looking for coins to improve your team, head over to lootbar.gg for the most reliable and also the best coins around. Also, they have incredible 24-hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using JT11 to get 8% off coupon. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed also with the code you'll be able to get five percent more coins on every transaction make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below which does mean it is just possible to grind these all so effortlessly it does take time don't get me wrong i'm not going to sit here and say you could get all of these done in a matter of day or two it's going to take a long time for some of them the prices coming in are crazy you've obviously got quite a lot of the normal players coming in quite cheap it's mainly someone like odengard is coming in at a mil you've got 2.3 for janola you've got yaya Torre coming in at 680 and then everybody else is kind of sub 100 give or take which is the nice and easy ones to power out first and also the fact that you don't have to do everybody but at this point what else is there to do the main value is going to go at the icons with maldini at 1.7 a brand new lam 99 cdm at 977 eusebio 99 at 3 mil we've then got a bobby moore at 290 2 3.3 3.8 and yada yada you keep going down so there is still some massive ones now one's leaving very soon you've got raquel me from the icons leaving in 45 hours everybody else has got like five to six to eight weeks so you're absolutely golden there player wise i think other than the actual players so for instance somebody like benega We've got 21 hours and then a few of the others, like obviously 45 hours, Jimenez three days. Most of the heroes have still got like six to five weeks left as well. So you don't have to worry about them too much. They're going to be over time. And to be honest, you'll end up just putting fodder in them anyway. Now, in terms of the icons, I think the easiest ones that are to complete first, I'm really liking Eto. Obviously, a 99 is always going to be one worth doing. You've then got Mia Hamm. You've got Eusebio. I think they are the easiest ones to knock out as quick as possible. You could argue Maldini. I do think 1.7. The fact that Lam is coming in at just under a mil and yet Maldini's 1.7. I get he's a very good centre back, but we could get him out of the unlimited icon packs. So why on earth he's not a million coins as well? I think he's good value, but I'd kind of hold off on him a little bit. Same with Bobby Moore, great value, very good centre back, coming in at a very high rated, but I would say he's kind of one of them ones I'd finish maybe after doing some of the big boys, especially with icons because there's so much time left. With some of the players, like if you're trying to complete every SBC, then obviously someone like Benega is going to be worth doing as quick as possible because obviously he goes the quickest. All of the heroes I would kind of leave till last anyway. So when I'm kind of finishing these icons off, I'd go repeatable grind for Abile, repeatable grind for Schweinsteiger. Rikalmi is a last resort if you're wanting to finish him, but I wouldn't say it's a big miss. I don't think he's really going to get in people's teams. Kaka is obviously incredible and same as Butra. And then I'd say Baggio and Van Persie are definitely up there in the better sort of uh, price value. Then we have a lot of these players. So obviously Janola, I'd say Martin Odengard because he only has like say 10 days. It's still two weeks, but you've got him finishing before any of the heroes. And Yaya Torre, I would personally say they are kind of the only ones I would say out of the normal players that are worth completing straight away. They are the top of the top and some of these SBCs are nuts. Most of them being forward. So pick wisely. You only need two or three. Then we go for the rest of the players. You've obviously got quite a few of the last resorts, really. Players that you're not going to use. Like, like, really, if you look at most of these, they're, they're not going to be used. As much as I love Crouch, you, if you've got anybody 99, 98 or 97, Dalglish, Werner already, Nunez, Pushgas, Haaland, Mbappe, R9, you're not going to put him over them. Maybe for a game or two for some sort of different team, but realistically, they're, they're not going in. I would go something like this. Malcolm would be grind. A Pender, a Pender actually might be 
gone by now. Have they gone? No, I think they... Did I take them out? I thought they might have... Uh, I think they've already been gone, actually. Uh, or have they? Uh, Jimenez... A pender's gone. Oh, I must have missed him then. So he's obviously last resort. Um, it's everybody else. I think I've got everybody else right. Malcolm's still there. Jimenez is still there. I thought I chose him out. Must have not. Then obviously Minamino, uh, bog standard. Even the the likes of some of the heroes, like they're, they're not necessarily like Team Cahill. Why has he got anticipate? Like it, it makes no sense for him. He's got anticipate, acrobatic, power head, a power shot. I get it, but. No, it's it's very much last resort at this point. You've obviously got Donovan. Eh, he's coming in all right, but he's not necessarily up there. At least with Morientes, he's got himself the aerial plus, the finesse shot, and the power shot. But that's kind of really about it. Same as Future. Nothing really too exciting now. Obviously, he was one of the first ones that was released, so it's a bit harsh to, to kind of compare him to like a 98 Janola because he was number one. They are always going to look bad. They're never going to start off with a 98. Jimenez, repeatable grind. I do like Oxland chamberlain I think actually as a center mid, could have worse options. Joe Cole I quite like, and Carvalho is definitely up there as well. There is a decent amount between all of them. There is a lot of SBCs going on now, and with the release of Maldini, I can imagine we are going to be very close to potentially getting like an R9 great to the game, Cruyff, maybe even a cheeky team in a tournament, Mbappe, whether they go for that or they do release that 99 Mbappe. It will all depend on if there is a footies week six or do we go into the preseason as it is getting very close and we will be on FC 25 time soon. Apart from that, leave any comments. Peace.